Manx Radio Podcasts, powered by Shaw. The Nation Station. Hello and welcome along to the penultimate podcast as we head towards the Isle of Man Film Festival 2016. I'm Emma D, and I'm here giving you all the latest updates on the festival so you can plan what you want to see and make sure you don't miss out on the events you want to catch. The festival is on the 8th to the 11th of September so we're actually just under a month away from the start of it now. In the last podcast, we discussed the news that two classic films will be screened at the gorgeous Castle Russian site. The first of which is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Loxley! I'm going to cut your heart out with a spoon! Why a spoon, cousin? Why not an axe? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. Now sew and keep the stitches small. And the second is Labyrinth. Oh, you turn my world, you precious thing. You starve and near exhaust me. Now then, since our last podcast, Robin Hood has sold out. So if you're heading to see that, I hope to see you there in your snazzy green tights. But Labyrinth has been increased to more screenings, so you can see it on Friday and grab your tickets to the Goblin City for Late Night Labyrinth at Castle Russian on the 9th, or come along on the 11th. You can just head to the Isle of Man Film Festival Facebook page to get your tickets, and get them quick as well so you don't miss out, because that's sure to sell out just like Robin Hood. Manx National Heritage is partnering with the festival for the whole week now, with screenings from the 5th to the 9th from 10 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock at night in the Manx Museum Lecture Theatre. Now, full details of the schedule are yet to be announced, but I've been told it's going to include a mix of Manx-made movies, family favourites, documentaries and short films. So when we actually do our next podcast at the end of this month, I'll be able to bring you a list of the films for what to look out for so you can make sure you can go along and see them. And the Manx Museum is also going to host a special event on the Saturday of the weekend. Saturday night at the movies, who cares what they see? If you love all things kitchen unusual, but fabulous and creative, then head to the museum for the BFI National Archive. It's going to be a fabulous collection of diverse moving images, many unseen pieces as well, actually. It's going to be really interesting. So head to the museum on the Saturday and discover rare, exclusive and really interesting films. In the last podcast, I brought you all the info on the island-wide movie quiz. It's on Thursday the 8th of September, all over the island. So whether you're in the north, south, east or west, there's going to be a venue near you taking part. Um, the venues include the Trafalgar Inn in Ramsey, the Albert in Port St. Mary, the Alpine in Douglas and the Creek in Peel. You can have a team of up to five and although you're going to be in one of those locations I mentioned, you're actually going to be up against teams across all of those locations. So it's a really big quiz, it's going to be really good fun. And if you do want to take part in that, you need to email zoe at isleofmanfilmfestival.com. That's Zoe, Z-O-E, at isleofmanfilmfestival.com. Um, with the venue where you want to attend and how many people are going to be taking part in your team, you can have up to five people and then head along there on the 8th and, uh, and take part and get revising. Now then, the patron of the festival, Mark Kermode, will be back again this year to judge the shortlisted films in the competition, which is now in its final stages and is going to be awarding prizes on the Friday as well. Here's a clip from a couple of years ago at the festival as he discussed the film Bell and what films like this mean for the Isle of Man film industry. When I was, you know, my my, my family's from the island, so we would come here every year and of course there wasn't any filmmaking on the island. So I was just trying to remember the first one. I think it was Brill Cream Boys. We were talking about it, you know, over a decade ago now. And when you look at what's happened in terms of, you know, Isle of Man filmmaking since then, you know, recently there was Chico and Rita, which I think was the first Oscar nomination, an absolutely wonderful piece that you wouldn't necessarily think was an Isle of Man film. You know, I think Fernando Trobe did a wonderful job and of course some of the animation was done here. And then you look at uh, something like Disappearance 
experience of Alice Creed, which is a really tight, stripped down thriller which works so brilliantly yeah. and is done here. Stormbreaker, which was, I know it wasn't a huge box office success, but it demonstrated that you could make a big studio movie with action sequences and helicopters and motorbikes, you know, put air in looking like Cornwall. But in the case of Bell, my feeling about it is, is it's, it's like a global calling card. It's the kind of film that, as we know, when it played in cinemas in America, went head to head with Spider-Man 2 and outsold Spider-Man 2. It did. Yeah, which is great. <laughs> and you should never forget the fact that you beat Spider-Man 2 in cinemas. And anything like that that says you can make this kind of film in the Isle of Man is great for the industry because what it shows people is, you know, there are wonderful locations, there are great technicians, there are, you know, brilliant studio spaces. And the more people get... I mean, I honestly... In the last five years, I haven't met anybody working in you know, what we now refer to as the British film industry who hasn't worked in the island. That's the point. It's not have you worked in the island, it's when did you work in the island. So as you can tell, Mark is highly excited about the future of film on our island. And that's what the festival's all about. Now Zoe Guildford and some of the other festival organisers will be joining me on the next podcast. And when we do that podcast, we're going to be just a week away from the start of the event. So I know she's really looking forward to releasing final details and announcements with us on the podcast and feels this year is going to be the best yet. If you want to find out more about the festival, click isleofmanfilmfestival.com or like the page on Facebook because they update the Facebook page quite a lot each week and you can get all the latest news and announcements as they actually happen. I'm off to go and revise for the movie quiz now and I'll be back at the end of the month with all the team and we'll be just a week away from the festival. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you soon.